I know you're all very tired. Before I let my words to my friends, I'll sh make a small introduction. But before that, I would really, really would like to thank you all for this intensive and sincere support that you've been giving us about the condolences about what happened in our country the day we came here. And uh, there's a few uh, repeating uh, earthquakes happening, perhaps. But um, this is the fate of our land, but it's always working as the first time. I would really thank you all, and the friends in the ID as well. Um, every time they saw us, that was the issue. Uh, thanks for the support. Um, we're honored <coughs> to be uh, hosting the second IDEA Congress in Istanbul, a, set, a city that is cultural, uh, that is a culture that is influenced by what is Asian heritage and its European position. The 2013 Congress will be hosted by Istanbul Technical University. Thanks to the support of the International Council of Society of International Design, the International Federation of Interior Architects, and the International Council of Graphic Design Associations, also, I would like to thank uh, my colleague, member of the GMK board, Ayesha Karamustafa, for doing the temporary identity still now and for all her uh, cooperation. This is going to be an excellent opportunity for us to showcase the inspirational design community that we have in Turkey. And we are all looking forward for the opportunity to gain inspiration from design communities from all around the world. And uh, now I would like to invite my friend, who's in charge of communication and PR, Ms. Bettina Kupferman, to explain the rest of the presentation, and then we we'll carry on with the film that you've maybe already seen. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I'm going to tell you a little bit of, uh, about our plans for the upcoming IDA Congress and the General Assemblies that will take place in Istanbul in 2013. So our main question is, why did we want to host the IDA Congress? Well, we sincerely share the aim of uh, the IDA and its partners, which is to do together what we cannot do alone. And we believe that as a dedicated member of the international design community, we're going to serve as a strong partner to the IDA and its partners by creating a platform for global dialogue on design. We also believe that the IDA Congress will be a milestone for Istanbul and even Turkey. This Congress will create a huge opportunity for communication and collaboration among designers and all the other stakeholders, including the industry, local and central governments, and the public at large in Turkey. Because of these opportunities of communication among different actors, we have chosen the, dia uh, the title Design Dialects for the Congress. Today, we just want to give you a brief uh, introduction to the organizational side of the Congress, what we have done so far, and the next steps we're taking towards creating a unique design Congress in a unique location, Istanbul. So why is Istanbul the right location to host our Congress? Well, let me tell you a little bit about Istanbul Technical University, your next host, and the city of Istanbul. Istanbul Technical University is one of the leading universities in Turkey. With a history that goes back over 200 years, the university is strongly identified with engineering, architecture, and design education and research in Turkey. Istanbul is the largest city in Europe with the youngest population. And in a time of global economic recession, Turkey maintains its position as one of the fastest growing economies throughout the world, currently growing at a rate of 8.5% a year. And design is becoming more and more linked to the economic dynamism of the city. <clears throat> Istanbul is often described as a location where the east meets the west. But we know that Istanbul is also a location where the north and the south and the rich and the poor come together. The diversity of Istanbul is unique. 
And that is why the location has earned Istanbul a distinct identity. Now a little bit about the practical arrangements of our Congress. We will welcome you in Istanbul in one of our two major international airports. The recently renovated Atatürk Airport on the European side, or the Sabia Gökçen Airport on the East Asian side. Transportation services to the center of the city will naturally be provided for everyone arriving. 70, uh, 67, 76 sorry, airlines cater to 40 million people arriving to Istanbul every year, and flight durations to Istanbul are relatively short, um, and direct flights to most major cities are available. The conference itself will be held within one of our state-of-the-art conference centers. Um, the impressive center is just two years old and was actually purpose-built for the IMF co governor's meeting. The Congress Center is in walking distance to our main hotel district, where you can find a vast range of four and five star hotels um, that vary from a night in a palace by the Bosphorus Strait or a modern city hotel. Also, we have a high number of worldwide hotel, hotel chains uh, available in Istanbul. And another thing that we would like you to it, like to invite you to experience is our joy of life and our hospitality. It is difficult for us to explain to you, we actually have to show you. So Istanbul has so many unique qualities and we look very much forward to share them with you. We have our modern, old Grand Bazaar and the Sp Spice Market, which is a must to visit. And we also have several luxury shopping malls, so start saving up everyone. Um, add a little touch of traditional famous Turkish cuisine after a walk through some of the historical sites. And we can guarantee you an unforgettable experience in Istanbul in 2013. And let us not forget our famous nightlife with beautiful bars and clubs by the Bosphorus Strait combined with international music festivals, prestigious art galleries, and I guarantee you, you will not want to go home. <coughs> we are hoping to see you all in Istanbul and cannot wait to show you what Istanbul and design in Istanbul is all about. So now my colleague Shefnu would like to tell you a little bit more about our Congress theme and show you our video. Thank you very much. primarily among the three ideal disciplines. And design dialects implies we all speak a common language, design. As different agents trying to speak the language of design, we all have our own dialects. So, who are those agents speaking different design dialects? It is the disciplines. Each discipline weaves design in its own way and has its own methods yet can learn from and is influenced by each other. Oh, we can go to the next slide, maybe. Yeah, one. Yes, thank you. It is the individuals. Individuals cover the designers and also the non-designers. They are the makers and also the users of design. And it is the institutions. It is the mission of the idea to bring the benefits of design to institutions, world bodies, governments, businesses, and societies. By defining design as a common language, this Congress aims at building new platforms, activities, and ways of thinking to understand each other, to work across nations and borders. In our interconnected world, we need to listen, understand, and interact with each other in order to sustain and improve our human condition by and through design. 
So, we are expecting you to come to Istanbul in 2013 and join us with your own dialect. And uh, before our film about Istanbul and design dialects, I would like to thank once again um, to Yeshim and Ayşe, actually. Um, actually, we are brought together by this purpose um, that was facilitated by IDA. Uh, we knew each other <coughs> before uh, as names, but we didn't come together to work together. And I'm, I'm really personally so pleased to have met you a little bit more closely. And it was a pleasure. And I'd like to thank Yeshim, especially for the uh, uh, advisory support on a wide variety of issues. <laughs> yeah. And actually for designing our interim Congress identity, which you can see on the bags and badges we're wearing. Uh, I think it's going to be changed, but we like it <laughs> at the moment. Um, so, we can see our film about Istanbul and the Bandai. Thank you for listening. Hello, my name is Altaya. 
Uh, I'm a design academy and the head of industrial product design at Istanbul Technical University. Hi, my name is Jansa Carson. I'm a designer. Hello, my name is Aziz. I am a designer from Istanbul Technical Hello, my name is Mahmoud Nuri. I am a terror designer. Hello, my name is Ender. I am a designer. Hi, my name is Mikhail. I am a product designer. Hello, my name is Mehmet. I'm a designer. Hello, my name is Mohamed Shahin. I'm the president of Islamic Technical University. I'm a designer. My name is Henry Topak. I am a designer for Islam. Hi, I'm Aisha Gursel, product designer. Looking forward to seeing you in Istanbul. wanted to exploit the energy and the outcomes of the workshop for the board meeting and make possible that recommendations from the workshops can also be implemented. So we have two workshops. The sign-up sheet is at the registration desk. There are only 50 slots per workshop, so I will ask those of you who still have not done that right after we adjourn to go to the desk and to sign up for the workshop that you wish to attend. And you would have found the descriptions for the workshops on your desk. I'm just going to give you a little bit of information now about them. So one workshop is about the Grada 50th anniversary, and it's going to be facilitated by Omar Bulpinari. And here is a short brief. In the past 50 years, the world and its societies have changed enormously at a speed never witnessed in any other half century. The same has happened to communication design and its context, players, and objectives. And the coming 50 years will be even more fast-moving and evolutionary to an extent we cannot imagine. In occasion of the Kugrada General Assembly 24 in Taipei, the Executive Board wants to share the creation of this historic celebration with its international member associations in an informal two-hour workshop. So that's the Kugrada 50th anniversary. And the second workshop is about ThinkNets. It will be facilitated by, by Don Rumchang and Lawrence Zegan. And here is a short description. The world is moving. Communication channels have changed more in the last decade than in any other time in history. Once designers generated content for content providers. Now designers can mediate as well as communicate. We have the opportunity to design systems and networks to enable more democratic communication. So, Please sign up at the registration desk. And I was just informed that also the sign up sheet for the speculative practices committee is also going to be at the registration desk. And with this, we adjourn the meeting for today. See you tomorrow. Thank you.